Hello, my name is Georgia and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have literally spent all day like googling um, what to make my first video on. So I have basically decided to do like a, uh, a get to know me tag rather than a like traditional like instruction video because I think that can be kind of boring. I mean this could be quite boring as well but hopefully it won't be as boring. Um, and if I keep looking down the laptops down there with the questions on. So first question is what did you want to be when you grow up? Yeah, grew up. I'm an adult now. I wanted to be a teacher at some point. I feel like pretty much everyone wanted to be a teacher. Um, and I probably wanted to teach like English or something so I was, I was really, really into English. And then I wanted to be I've wanted to be so many things, I feel like, literally so many things, so probably a teacher, we'll go with a teacher. The second one is what's the zodiac sign, the zodiac sign is Virgo, and I feel like, although I am a Virgo, like, I'm on the cusp of Virgo and Libra, like, they've changed the dates recently and I was almost, like, not a Virgo, so my birthday's on the 21st of September, um, and I feel like I am, like, quite a typical Virgo but I know that I've got Libra tendencies as well and then my moon my moon sign is Gemini and my rising is Scorpio so I'm just a mess really I'm just a mix of like a mess really um and kind of everyone was hating on Gemini's for ages and I just kind of joined that like bandwagon of like hating Gemini's and then it turns out my moon's a Gemini so kind of mug myself off with that one the third one is how tall are you? I'm about 5'8". Um, I always thought I was not taller, I was, I was shorter. I always thought I was like 5'6". I used to tell people I was 5'6". I know people that were actually 5'6". I'm like, oh my god, I'm actually not 5'6". So I'm 5'8". Um, I think I look 5'8". I think 5'8 is like a pretty average size. It's not too tall, it's not too short. It's just quite a good height. You can kind of see everything. Then people, short people always can be tall. So I think it's average, but apparently it's not average. So. I don't know. Third question is how would you describe your fashion sense? Um, it's a it's a it's a mix. Like one day I could be like really dressed up, like nice like lacy bodysuit, like nice trousers, heels, and the next day I just should be wearing like joggers and like a t-shirt that's like five sizes too big for me, and like scruffy trainers. So I think definitely it goes in between, um, and I'm happy wearing either of them out. Like, I'm kind of okay with like wearing whatever i'm not too bothered about what i wear um I'm trying to think of something that i don't like culottes i hate culottes on me i think they look silly i have quite muscly calves so i just think i look really strange in culottes um and like bralettes as well i don't look that great in bralettes i feel like i've got quite a big rib cage as well so bralettes just don't do anything for me <laughs> The fifth question is one word that describes you. Um, I don't know. I don't think there is one word. Like, I feel like if I could pick a word, maybe friendly. Is friendly a good word? I don't know. Um, I kind of get on with like most people so I feel like maybe maybe friendly. I feel like friendly is a good a good word. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know at this point. I think friendly is a good word. How many countries have you visited is the sixth. Sixth question, how many countries have you visited? Um my mum is Irish so I've been to Belfast quite a few times and then last February I went to Dublin for the first time but I've been to the south before I went to Dundalk in the south when I was like younger and then obviously I'm from England so I've been to England I live there um I've been to Italy I've been to like Rome Capri Sorrento Naples those places in Italy I've never been to France um never been to Italy. I have ever been to Wales. I've never been to Scotland either. Have I been to Wales? No. I don't think I've been to Wales. Um, 
been to America, I've been to LA um, twice. Been to Ibiza, so I've been to Spain. Been to Ibiza. Been to Finland, went to Lapland when I was younger. I don't know how many countries this is, quite a few. I think, I think that's pretty much it. I can't really think of any other places that I've been to. I mean, I definitely haven't been to like Canada or like any other real, oh, I've been to Portugal. I haven't been to any other like European countries. I've been to, yeah, I've been there. I wanna go to Iceland, maybe. It looks pretty, but I'm not sure. I really want to go to Paris. I've never been to Paris, so I'm, I would like to go. I was meant to go like a year and a half ago, and I just like, didn't end up going. Um, so yeah, okay. I don't even know what number we're on now, so we can just six. I count seven. Six or seven? Question six or seven? Um. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? I think I'm an extrovert. I think I'm quite good with like new people and things, but I can get quite like nervous around social situations that like where I don't know anyone or anything like that. Like I can thrive in those environments, but it doesn't mean that I like them. Um, but I will speak to anyone about anything essentially. I'm quite easy to, I feel I'm quite easy to get on with most of the time. I think everyone has their moments, but I definitely think I'm an extrovert rather than an introvert. Um, eight, any pets? Have got a dog? Mm. Okay, so no. No? So no. He's a border collie. He is, how old is he? Seven, I wanna say. I think I got him when I was 15, I'm 22 now. I think he's seven. Um, he's a rescue dog, so he's not full border collie. He's actually mixed. We think he's mixed with like a whipper or a greyhound. If you saw his back legs, it all makes sense. Um, and he is a very, very good boy. Aren't you? Aren't you? Um, but yeah, this is my dog. I prefer dogs to cats in this household. Oh. You prefer cat? <laughs> yeah! You said that? Okay. Yeah, you can go now. Okay, question nine. What's your favourite thing to have for breakfast? Mm. Probably pancakes. I really like pancakes. Um, I like a full English as well if I've been drinking. I definitely like full English, but I would say probably pancakes. Oh, okay, he's just gonna stay there now. I'm not gonna ask him to do it. Probably pancakes with like maple syrup and banana, or like Nutella and banana. Um, I prefer like fluffy pancakes rather than like Though. I mean, I'll eat a crab, obviously, but I prefer like fluffy pancakes. So I was gonna pick fluffy pancakes. Question 10, maybe? Um, if money were no object, what would you get for your next birthday? Probably a car. Um, I need a car. I need to start driving, really. I did, I started taking lessons last July. I passed my theory last July and I took lessons kind of immediately and I had a driving test in this, uh, end of November before December and I failed it. So I've got a test literally next week which hopefully I'll pass because if I don't that would be very upsetting for me again. Um, but I think I'll be better, I think I just kind of lost it a little bit but I might do like a little video on like why I failed because it's quite funny. I stalled quite a few times, and it yeah. Every time everyone person that I told the story to just like laughed. But maybe that's because they like know me quite well, and that is something that I would do. Like the amount of things I did wrong, I'm insane. So probably a car. I don't think I would be too bothered. Like I, I wouldn't want like the flashiest first car. So I probably would crash it, or at least scratch it, or at least do something to it. So yeah, I'm not too bothered about what car it would be, but a car would be nice. So. Mum, if you're a please buy me a car. Next, you've got a year. Okay, I think we're on question 11. I want to say we're on 11. It might not be. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Oh, I really like England. I know it's a really boring answer, but I actually do really like England. I wouldn't want to go to America. Um, oh, maybe actually, maybe like Finland or like Iceland. I like cold weather. Like cold weather is my favourite. I love snow, I love rain, like all the weird stuff. People don't like I love it. 
So I think I'm a little somewhere cold, to be honest with you. So I think we're on question 12. And the question is favourite smells. Um, I love lavender, I love lavender, I love vanilla. Um, fragrance wise, I think my favourite perfume it's got to be like Lady Million or something because it's really, really sweet. I love sweet scents, but if I was going to choose like a home fragrance, I couldn't have anything sweet or cakey. It has to be like quite fresh or like if it is going to be sweet, it has to be fresh with sweet. Like I can't just have like, I can't just have like vanilla cupcake from Yankee Candle. Like, no, it makes me feel sick. So it has to be like sweet but fresh. And that kind of sums up my smells but my favorite scents are like lavender vanilla musk i love musk and like i do like i quite like the smell of coconut i don't like coconuts but i like the smell of coconut question 13 is if you were another person would you be friends with yourself um probably i think i, th I, th I think i've got like a very good close like group of friends and i think I mean that's the thing like we're all so different like every single one of my friends is like, opposite of me which is good we never like argue or anything I mean people that I've been friends with that are like too similar to me we just haven't really got on after a while just like a bit crazy so I feel like I bring out the crazy in other people and then they bring out the chill in me which is definitely works really well especially when I'm like out like kind of mellow I mellow a bit and everyone else goes mental which is great but yeah I think I would be friends with myself I think I'm a pretty good friend quite I think I'm quite a good friend. The 14th question is what's the first thing you notice about a person? I, if it's a girl, I always look at their hair because I'm obsessed with like hair and makeup and stuff. So makeup and hair, always look at. Um, and then like clothes, I guess. If it's a boy, probably still hair, but then probably eyes. So this is question 15, I guess. It's tell us one of your bad habits. I'm trying to think what bad habits I have. I used to bite my nails and I would get like acrylics, so I don't buy them anymore. So, oh my god, no, I know. Pulling out my eyelashes, like sometimes I'll just sit in bed and just like pull them, and my brows as well. I'll just sit in bed and just pull them, and I, I won't even realize I'm doing it. I just keep pulling them and like pull my brows as well. So, it's probably that. I did, probably that. But yeah, that's 15 questions. That's like a little bit more about me. Um, my kind of like plan for this channel is just to do things that I really enjoy, like love doing hair. At the minute, I'm working for Dyson, so I work with hair all day long essentially um i love it and i love doing hair and there will definitely be some videos um with the dyson hair dryer and dyson hair wrap because i obviously know how to use them really well so it would be nice to kind of like pass that on to other people and then obviously makeup reviews as well my background is in makeup so i would still like to do makeup and then it would be nice to throw in some like lifestyle stuff so like traveling and things like that so I'm just going to try and keep it like chill. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel because there will be plenty more videos that are probably more exciting than this one. Um, and I hopefully will see you soon. Bye!